Senator Peters, I really hear how passionate you are about this issue. And Illinois really is making history here, ending the cash bail system in the entire state. So the nation's eyes really are on you, you and your state leading the forefront of this issue. So when Americans ask you point blank, will abolishing cash bail make us a safer country? What's your answer then to that? Yes, we're moving away from a system based off of wealth to a system based off of risk. That's going to make you safer. And if you're a domestic violence survivor or a sexual assault survivor, we move to a system that says if someone in your home is abusive or accused of being abusive, they have to be detained and prove that they aren't abusive to go home. That is a fundamental shift for the system and one built up safety. And my final question to you then is what do you think is missing from the national conversation then when it comes to bail reform in general in this country? Yeah, I mean, I think what we have is a combination of things. We have Republicans who sort of stick to this old Rudy Giuliani playbook that we saw in the 90s, right? It's sort of obsessively repeating the exact same talking point, uh, ignoring the facts. You know, you saw it. A Republican in my state spoke about victims, even though we have a bill that is victims' rights group centered. So we have that happening. And then on the other part, we have some Democrats who are, to be honest with you, cowards. They're scared. Uh, instead of actually pushing things forward, um, they're so nervous about a relatively few right-wing Republicans that they try to hedge. Um, and so what I say to folks is that in this partisan issue, you can't stand with January 6 Republicans who are going to be bad on this issue. We have to fundamentally shift how we do public safety in this country. Uh, and so whether you live in a rural town where you might face extreme violence and nobody tells your story, that's one of the key things about violence in rural towns. Your story is often erased, right? It is literally people use it as a talking point and then they walk away. So whether you live in a rural town where your story is often erased, we live in a big city where there's so much racism being thrown around when it comes to violence. Um, you have a right to demand that there be a change that doesn't rely on the old tactics of yesterday. You have a right to say we should feel as safe as they do in London, that they do in Dublin, that they do in Amsterdam, that they do in Seoul and Tokyo, because I live in the richest country in the world. Give me the health care I need. Give me a good job. Give me good housing. Give me a good life, because it is very much possible, and it shouldn't be something left to the few. That is public safety for all. That's a demand to make. And that if your Democratic leader starts engaging with right-wing talking points, let them have it. Let them know that they're wrong. And the fact of the matter is they have no, they're too scared to do what they need to do to keep people safe. But I, I that's my little rant on that. I think this is a bipartisan issue. Um, I think that Republicans sort of swim in what I would say heinous and dangerous waters. And uh, I really wish they didn't. Uh, and I think that too many Democrats are too scared to actually call that out. Illinois State Senator Robert Peters, thank you so much for joining me. An important conversation. You're welcome back anytime. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me.